Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be fitting a split charger to the Volkswagen Caddy. Now, why would you want to know how to fit a split charger? Well, basically, sometimes you want to use the accessories on your van or your car, but you don't want to uh, ever have to worry about draining the main engine battery so that you can't start the vehicle. Now, when I'm at work, I want to concentrate on my work. I don't want to be worrying about draining the main battery that starts my van um, by cleaning too many windows with the pump running off the main battery. So for me, fitting a split charger makes a lot of sense. I can uh, have a, a massive battery in the back of the van and uh, I can drain it, I can use it to my heart's content and I never have to worry about the van going flat. Uh, a lot of people actually will fit split chargers to their camper vans for similar reasons. Maybe they want to watch TV, charge their phones or whatever, but uh, they don't want to uh, have to worry about the van not starting when they want to go home. So let's make a start on fitting that split charger. Now, the first thing I have to do is basically run a positive lead from the battery to uh, the location of the leisure battery. So let's do that. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is basically run this 12 volt feed to the leisure battery at the back. Uh, it's always difficult to go from an engine bay through a firewall because the whole point of a firewall is that nothing can get past it whether that's uh, crash debris, a fire, or anything. So there's no, there's not usually any holes that are really easy to use. You usually got to go dig in or drill in. Um, now I've used this, it's a bit of sacrificial plastic pipe, and uh, it's come in handy because I've managed to find a route under here, uh, so the cable can go down here, under there, um, and then obviously that goes through the wing, And then comes up there however there is a hole down here a grommet for the wire to go in there's a grommet there i can use and i've got access on this side then so use something like this that's pretty um rigid with a little sort of bend in it because then you can sort of direct it then towards where you want it to go uh, the wire is too uh, bendy and you won't be able to really get it through so the way we can get the wire through now we could tape it to the end pull this through and it'll put the wire, pull the wire through then, like that. So that's the hard bit done, really. So I've pulled the wire through, and it worked great. Now I'm going to route the wire so that it's not on any metal edges, and then poke it through this bung so I can get access to it on the inside of the car. Okay, so this is looking pretty neat now. The cables run down here, down here. I'm yet to tuck it under there, and it goes behind the seats. So yeah, behind the seats, and then I'm left with the cable here. Now, I want it to go there. I've got a leisure battery now to go in here, but if we see this hole here, uh, this firewall, it's only a piece of, it's not even a firewall. I'm not sure what it's called. Cab wall, bulkhead, that's one, bulkhead. Uh, so I'm gonna drill a hole there, with the whole bit, and uh, I'll just poke the wire through. Okay, so we've got the positive. Now we've got a ground, the leisure battery to the chassis so there's the ground and i've just put it through the same hole that i drilled so the positive and the, the earth are going to come through there and i'm actually earthing it to this bolt here now they use a funny bolt on volkswagens it's called the spline bit um, so that's something worth bearing in mind if you have a volkswagen they don't usually have those bits in a normal socket set now I wasn't sure if this would this ground would work, so I scratched some paint off just to make sure it would, and it's going to go like that. Um, now you want to check that the ground actually works before you go ahead and uh, put everything back together. So you've got two options: you could either touch the positive and see if it sparks, or a slightly better way of going about it would be to use a multimeter. So I've done that, and it does work. The ground is good so uh, i'm going to put it all back together and that's the positive and ground wired up now we just have to do the relay so the ground is nice and clean just got to bolt it up okay so we've had the positive connected up and this is actually an earth now to this um relay so the positive that i've fed through the wing goes to the relay and then there's a positive from the relay to this and then that relay 
has a ground wire which goes to the ground on the van battery. Now the way this works, this will sense whether the alternator is turning uh, because the voltage is different when the engine's on versus when the engine's off. So it will sense the difference in voltage. If it knows that the engine is on, it will connect that positive and then it will go to the leisure battery to charge it up. And then when the engine is turned off, you can then drain that leisure battery. But because this positive is no longer connected, it actually breaks the circuit. So I can clean windows, you know, to my heart's content. And uh, I'll never have to worry about the van not being able to start. Now here, I've just connected the positive and the negative and uh, a couple of wires just to run my pump controller. And then obviously we add the, the earth in there. So now it's time to test it. So I'll start the van up and then I'll measure the voltage here and I'll update you in a minute. So if it's anything over 12 volts, then the system's working. Hey, 14.3. That means it's actually charging off the alternator. So it's working lovely. So hopefully you guys found that a bit helpful. Remember to click like if that video was helpful or you enjoyed it. And also remember to click subscribe to see more videos like this. Um, I've got a few videos on the Caddy. I'm going to be doing a few more videos on it over time. But uh, if you're not interested in vans, um, I've also got a track Mitsubishi Evo I'm building. So um, maybe you'll find that interesting as well. So check out those videos. I've um, got a lot of performance car videos on the channel. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.